Handoff up the middle again. Peterson's got some room up the middle into the end zone. Touchdown, Wildcats. It's time for high school sports on your local TV station, the NCW Live Channel. Today's broadcast is brought to you by Abby's Pizza, Dick's Heating and Air Conditioning, Global Car Care, Harvest Valley Pest Control, Highlander Golf Course and Grill, Les Schwab Tires, and Sangster Motors. Now, let's go to live coverage of high school sports on the NCW Life Channel, your local TV station. The Panthers win the district championship. Good evening, volleyball fans, and welcome to Eastmont High School, where we're getting ready for Big Nine Volleyball here on the NCW Life Channel. I'm Eric Grandstrom as we bring you the Eastmont Wildcats off to a tough start at 1 and 10 on the season, trying to get their second win in Big Nine play tonight against a very much improved Moses Lake team that's 5 and 5 and under their new head coach. We're going to talk to Crystal coming up on the pregame show. We'll also talk to the head coach for Eastmont, Corinne Davis, about what they hope hope to do in the second half of this season. It's all about seeding. It's all about getting to the postseason. Right now, Moses Lake in a great position, but unfortunately, Eastmont needs some work to do. It's Eastmont. It's Moses Lake coming up next here on the NCW Life Channel. We were in Roseburg in the early 80s. Our oldest son, Dan, was a defensive back, a starter on that team. They set, in fact, became Oregon State champions, setting the first undefeated 14-0 season in Oregon's history. And our kids still talk about that. I go back now, too, and I think about all those great days and great times. The neat thing is that we can go back in today and still enjoy the same quality food that we enjoyed 50 years ago. That's legendary. Are you dealing with a pest or weed issue and you just don't know what to do? We use the best pest control methods approved for areas with kids and pets. Whether it's rats, mice, ants, or spiders, or something else altogether. We provide the coaching and solutions you're looking for. And you can know that your dollars are supporting a local, family-owned and operated business. Allow us to help you get back to living healthy and pest-free. Harvest Valley Pest Control. Pre-game show continues here on the NCW Life Channel as we visit with Crystal Trammell, the head coach for the Moses Lake Mavericks. New name, new coach, new attitude, it sounds like. New everything, confidence with the girls, new culture, everything. Talk about this season for you. You guys come in 500 overall. You're above 500 in Big Nine play. you got to be pretty happy about that. Uh, we're very excited. The girls started their journey in June. The hard work, a lot more uh, game knowledge. They're faster, faster offense, scrappy. They're intentional to what they do on the court. Um, the girls are loving it. So are we, of course. How do you keep it to where you, you get the girls to focus on just one point at a time and you don't look too far ahead? We take a look at going every five points, first to five, first to 10, first to 15. Then if we start to lull, it's what we can do to bring ourselves out of that. This is the event. What's your response to that event is going to be the outcome. So we do a lot of elite uh, mindset to bring ourselves back out of that. Talk about this matchup tonight with Eastmont. You guys took care of business with them at home. What are you expecting here tonight on the road? Tough. It's always tough when we come to Eastmont. They're, they're well coached. They're a good team. So. You know, we're hoping to, to do what we need to do to maintain in the Big Nine. Well, Crystal, thank you for taking the time. Keep everybody healthy tonight. We, we'll try. <laughs> Crystal Trammell joining us here on the pregame show. We'll come back and talk with Corinne Davis, head coach of Eastmont, right after this on the NCW Live Channel. I believe we've been coming to Abbey's for 56 years, wasn't it? Yes, yeah. 56 years. Remembering all the events as a family and a community that we spent at Abbey's. E excellent and delicious food at an affordable price. We're delighted that we live close enough to be able to be a frequent customer. And we are. And we are. <laughs> In fact, we've got orders to bring home a, a giant pizza when we leave okay. here tonight. <laughs> You don't have to be a member to enjoy the view and dine-in style at Highlander Bar & Grill, located in East Wenatchee. Highlander Golf Course has added two state-of-the-art full-swing simulators. Food and drink service is available from our full-service bar and grill, offering breakfast, lunch, and dinner seven days a week. Indoor and outdoor seating available. Call Shalane, our on-site coordinator, to schedule your special event. 
Thanks for joining us for Big Nine Volleyball tonight here on the NCW Live Channel, visiting with Corinne Davis, head coach for Eastmont. It is uh, pink out night tonight in honor of uh, cancer awareness, and we need to make sure and, and capitalize on that here tonight. But also, you need to capitalize on having home court advantage. How do you do that against Moses Lake tonight? Uh, we just take advantage of our court, I guess. It was actually kind of funny. We were watching film earlier, and the girls were actually saying that, how excited they were to play them here at home. And I asked them the same question, like, why home versus away? And they said, we just like our court. We feel at home on our court. It's a different feeling. So. Well, underfoot and everything else, you guys practice here. So you probably have that good vibe here. Yes, and you're just you're just used to the lines. You're used to the atmosphere, just all of it, especially the lines. They brought up the coloring of the lines at Moses Lake versus our colors. Okay. Well, you know, sometimes that's all it takes. Technicality. Let's, let's talk about uh, kind of a trend for you guys. And a couple of weeks ago, you guys had a heart-to-heart -heart meeting, and you had some tough moments. Talk about that. Yeah, we've struggled definitely mentally this year a lot more which is surprising because we've worked a lot with a mental performance coach with Brian Kane. He's amazing. And so we just had a little heart to heart, talked a little bit and kind of changed our philosophy just a little bit. And I think it's definitely shown. One of the biggest things we've done is we've changed up how we do our captains. So we have weekly captains and they kind of have to earn that role. And just they've just changed completely. And this team that you're going to see tonight is completely different than what you saw even two weeks ago. So I'm really proud of them. You guys have had some great moments here lately. How do you propel that into a three games tonight? Uh, we just keep remember. I try to tell them to visualize and remember what it felt like, like in those other games, like Wenatchee and West Valley, for example. We might not have come out on top, but the feeling of what that felt like to play like that, and we just are going to remember that feeling and visualize that and hopefully be able to play that against Moses tonight. Some positive reaffirmation happening for the Eastmont Lady Cats. Keep everybody healthy. Thanks for taking the time. Thank you. All right, there you go. Corinne Davis joining us here on the pregame show. We'll come back into the starting lineups brought to you by TC Slingers next here on the NCW Life Channel. When your heating or cooling system is giving you trouble, call the diagnostic doctor from Dix Heating and Air Conditioning. <laughs> Here's the culprit right here. All joking aside, when you call Dix, you're calling 35 years of experience at customer service right here in the Wenatchee Valley. Dix strongly believes in repairing before replacing and they service all major brands of HVAC units. The newest generation of GMC Sierra pickups offer the most advanced technology, the strongest selection of powertrain, and everything else you need to work hard, play hard, and explore the boundaries of the Wenatchee Valley and beyond. Take a look at the latest, most luxurious and durable trucks on the market. You will see why GMC is not your grandfather's pickup. You want to bet, kid? Welcome back once again to Eastmont High School as uh, the Wildcats and the Mavericks continue their warm-ups here before tonight's contest. Eastmont with a record of one and six in Big Nine play. Moses Lake at four and three. The Mavericks overall five and five, while the Lady Cats are one and ten. Let's take a look at. Mavericks, as announced by their head coach, Crystal Trammell. Thanks to Crystal for uh, joining us on our pregame show. She's assisted by Kelsey Ramos, Ashlyn Hanneberg, Amy Ratter, and a Raider, that is, and Caitlin Christie. The starters will include a 5'7 senior. She's an outside hitter, Kaylee Kylum. She wears number one. Peyton Andrews is number four. She is a junior at five foot nine inches. She's a middle hitter. Sydney McDonald also getting the start wearing number five. She's a senior at five eight, and she is a setter. Jaslyn Torres is the libero. She's 5'5 five, five and a senior. She wears number nine. Kenna Stewart also a starter tonight here for Coach Trammell. Kenna is an outside hitter. She is a sophomore in 5'8. She wears number 10. 11 is Maddie Bond, a 5'9 sophomore outside hitter. And Catherine Pugh is a 6'0 middle hitter. She's a senior. She wears number 13. The non-starters here for Moses Lake tonight. Reagan Hoffines, Annalise Hernandez, Kylie Voss, Cece Trinneman, Caitlin DeCouber, and Cardin Martinez. 
Meanwhile, for the East Blunt Wildcats here tonight for Coach Corinne Davis, she's assisted by Joe Gwynn, Lori Butterfield, Becca Hall, and Paris Feifel. McKenna Sherman, McKenzie Sherman will get the start. She wears number one. She is a red shirt, is, is a senior at five foot six inches. She is a setter. Michael Staines also getting the start wearing number two. She's a libero at five six and a junior. Emma Bennett is a middle hitter. She's a senior, wears number four. She's five foot eight inches tall. Rachel Hamilton, a setter at five six. She's a senior, wears number five. Tori Wolsborn getting the start. Outside hitter, wears number six. She's a senior and she's five feet seven inches tall. Jasmine Seltz is a five six senior. She wears number seven. She's also an outside hitter. Tamira Scott is a five seven senior. She is a middle blocker she wears number 11. The non-starters here for Coach Corinne Davis tonight, Tamron Heimbigner, Lydia Riggs, Sammy Beck, and Kira Davis. So those are, your, those are your lineups brought to you by TC Slingers. Let TC Slingers save you time, money, and labor with our conveyor application. Call for a free estimate today at 509-885-2269. We will take a break, come back, get you ready for what's happening tonight and what's coming up this week here on the NCW Life Channel right after this. When your heating or cooling system is giving you trouble, call the Diagnostic Doctor from Dix Heating and Air Conditioning. Here's the culprit right here. All joking aside, when you call Dix, you're calling 35 years of experience at customer service right here in the Wenatchee Valley. Dix strongly believes in repairing before replacing and they service all major brands of HVAC units. When the people you serve are your friends and family, you see the world a bit differently. You understand that your survival depends on the health and strength of your relationships. Your word is your reputation, and that doing the right thing is the only way of life that matters. At Confluence Health, we remain humble. Trust is a gift that is earned, a privilege, an honor. And we remain grateful for the trust you place in our hands. I'm Brian Thorpe, and I'm proud to say that Global Car Care is growing. We always do the right thing, and because of that, we're busy, and it's time to hire an experienced automotive technician. We spend as much time with our coworkers as we do our own family. I want them to understand they're not a number here. They're a person with a family, and I want them to be part of this family too. Do you want an owner that understands and respects what you do every day? I'm that guy. Our compensation is the best in the area. I want you to have your career with us. Welcome back here on the pregame show on the NCW Life Channel. A little bit of a delay here while they get the public address announcing system working. Russ Waterman was uh, doing the announcing, but nobody could hear him. So they're getting that all fixed up here. Coming into tonight, West Valley is atop the Big Nine standings at 6-0. They're 8-0 overall. They're the, one of the top-ranked teams in the state. In fact, they're ranked third by the WIAA RPI poll. North Creek is ranked number one. Puyallup, two. West Valley, three. Wenatchee coming into the night ranked eighth. Moses Lake is 33rd and Eastmont 41st. Again, West Valley at 6-0 in the Big Nine. They are atop the standings. Wenatchee in second place at 6-1 in Big Nine play. They're 9-1 overall. And uh, talking with Corinne Davis coming into the game tonight, of course, they uh, fell to Wenatchee here last week, but it was a much tighter affair than the 3-0 score would indicate as the first game of the uh, three games went 29-27. By the way, they're doing a little uh, thank you to our officials here tonight. So. Thank you to Kirk Einsbar and to Tina Mitchell for doing what you do and for helping us out because without officials, it's just recess. Thanks to Jerry Anderson for that one. But uh, so Eastmont, you know, they're coming in with a one in 10 record. They're one in six in big nine play, but they have played better and uh, hope to turn things around here tonight after a loss here last week to Wenatchee. Coming into the uh, match tonight, there's only five left here of the season, including this one. Uh, they'll be at Eisenhower coming up on uh, Saturday, and then they will host Sunnyside, travel to West Valley, and then finish with Davis here at home on October 27th. Meanwhile, for Moses Lake, it's been a much better season for the Mavericks. They were winless a season ago, but have uh, 
four victories in Big Nine play, three losses. They are currently tied with Davis for third, but they have the head-to-head -head advantage after knocking off the Pirates here just a little more than a week ago. Sunnyside is in fifth place in the Big Nine at two and five. Then you got Eastbound and Eisenhower, just one win apiece uh, bottom of the stack. They do have the play-in opportunity for teams to get to the postseason tournament, and that will be the first Tuesday after the regular season is over. And Eastmont hoping to elevate their position a little bit better than where they are right now. Following tonight, uh, Moses Lake will host Sunnyside, travel to West Valley, will host Davis and finish at Wenatchee on October 25th. We will have that one here live on the NCW Life Channel. Speaking of things coming up here on the NCW Life Channel, provided the smoke doesn't come back in, and we saw the smoke come back in today, so we're kind of keeping our fingers crossed for Friday that we don't get our football game scrubbed once again. But uh, Wenatchee supposed to be, or excuse me, yeah, Wenatchee uh, hosting Davis this Friday for homecoming. And we are scheduled to broadcast that game here live on the NCW Live Channel with our pregame beginning at 6.30 and kickoff at 7 o'clock from Lee Boftill Field at the Apple Bowl. But, you know, uh, we'll see about that. Uh, because the smoke is expected to come back and, and here our, our air quality uh, index went jumped through the roof again here today. So we shall see about that. But that is on the schedule for Friday night. The uh, starters are being announced here in front of a, a sparse crowd at Eastmont High School as we get ready for this matchup here tonight. Again, it is pink nights as Eastmont's celebrating Breast Cancer Awareness Month here for the month of October. So if you can, they would love you to help support breast cancer awareness and all cancer awareness. Uh, so uh, find a, a reputable organization that uh, works on behalf of cancer survivors and cancer patients and and cancer pa families. And if you can give, do what you can. We'll take a break. Come back. We've got the anthem coming up as well as our first serve of the night. It is Eastmont and Moses Lake coming to you live from Eastmont High School. We'll have the start of Big Nine Volleyball coming up next here on the NCW Life Channel. Thanks to Les Schwab tires, I'm a confident vaccine driver, but mine's a little stressed about spending. Remember, deep breaths and watch your speed. Even though we're watching our wallets, Les Schwab is still watching out for our safety. So it's right here. Don't stress, just save up to $250 on select tires with financing at our Les Schwab Fall Tire Sale. Les Schwab Tires, doing the right thing since 1952. You don't have to be a member to enjoy the view and dine-in style at Highlander Bar and Grill, located in East Wenatchee. Highlander Golf Course has added two state-of-the-art full swing simulators. Food and drink service is available from our full service bar and grill, offering breakfast, lunch, and dinner seven days a week. Indoor and outdoor seating available. Call Shalane, our on-site coordinator, to schedule your special event. Hi folks, welcome to Save Mart. How can we help you today? Uh, we're looking for a recliner. Okay, right this way. Go ahead and move this chair on the other side. Great, I want that one. I would like that one. That's a great choice. And I want this one as well. Okay. And I definitely want this one. Ooh. You find it at Save Mart. Full service at a low, low price. You don't have to be a member to enjoy the view and dine-in style at Highlander Bar and Grill, located in East Wenatchee. Highlander Golf Course has added two state-of-the-art full swing simulators. Food and drink service is available from our full service bar and grill, offering breakfast, lunch, and dinner seven days a week. Indoor and outdoor seating available. Call Shalane, our on-site coordinator, to schedule your special event. And welcome back once again here to Eastmont High School, home of the Wildcats, as we get ready for Big Nine Volleyball tonight. My name is Eric Grandstrom, and we appreciate you tuning in here tonight. It has been a hard day for sports fans here in the Northwest. <laughs> uh, if you have not heard, and maybe you had it recorded and you're going to watch it tonight, then I'll give you a moment to turn the volume down on your TV or Mute your phone real quick. Mariners had a 
three lead and lose to the Houston Astros in game one of the LDS today. Eight seven walk off home run by Jordan Alvarez in the bottom of the ninth inning with two outs and two strikes and Houston comes all the way back to beat the Mariners and give them a little taste of what the Mariners did to Toronto last Saturday. So it will be game two Thursday night at Minute Maid Park. Mariners trail the best of five series 0-1. Officials are checking the lineup, make sure everybody's in the right spot. Mavericks have the white uniforms with pink numbers and white Mavericks written across the top of the bag. Their libero, who is Jaslyn Torres, wears a pink top. Meanwhile, Eastmont, all pink, kind of that uh, powder pink, if you will. And their libero, who will have the first serve here for the game, Reagan Hoff, or excuse me, Michael Staines, has a white uniform top with the red sleeves and the red numbers. And we're underway here at Eastmont High School as the service is by the Wildcats. Moses Lake returns it. Eastmont with the counter, and that will be a strike at the net off of Cam Catherine Pugh's hands outstretched over the net and skitter out of bounds, and the first point of the game goes to Eastmont. Up front, Emma Bennett got a hand on that on the kill here for the Wildcats. Again, Staines with the service here for Eastmont. And that will go into the net. And their first unforced error of the contest. Ties it up at one, Moses Lake. Again, the Mavericks, gonna take me a while to get used to that uh, new mascot. Back line, it goes to Staines, a reverse set, and it's touched by Moses Lake, and it's gonna be a point to the Mavericks here. And say that uh, Eastmont came up over the top of the net, and so it will be a point to Moses Lake. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get, uh, hang on. Kirk Einsbar giving a motion here saying, hold on. Okay, gotta make sure that we got the scoring right. Should be, or we're gonna do it over again. Okay, we're gonna do it over again. So it remains 1-1 here. Okay, so they'll play the point over. They get it across the stains, the set up front. The kill attempt off of the front line there by Emma Bennett. And it will be a point to Moses Lake as it was a little long on the hit. Again on the service, Sydney McDonald for the Mavericks. Wolfsborn on the return. Here's getting it across is Jasmine Seltz. Up front, the kill attempt to go back line, and it is in and a point on a nice strike by Catherine Pugh. Six footer using her height advantage up front. 3 1. Moses Lake on top. Just underway here at Eastmont High School. Service goes to Seltz, and it goes awkwardly off of her outstretched arms in front of her and will go out of bounds at another point for Moses Lake. 4-1 early lead here for the Mavericks. McDonald again on the service. Wolfsborn is there. The set up front for Eastmont by Hamilton. They get it across. Here's a kill attempt by Moses Lake at the net by Kenneth Stewart. Eastmont gets it back over. Good volley on this particular point. A little soft serve, Wolfsborn is there. Up front for the set, now Wolfsborn with the kill. It goes right into the net. It'll be a point for Moses Lake. Up front for the Mavericks with Catherine Pugh again, but the ball went right into the net off the kill attempt by Eastmont. Wolfsborn a little bit strong on the return, and here's a set that goes over the net. Now Eastmont scrambling as Moses Lake touched it and then sent it back. Here's the set up front by McDonald, and the kill attempt is in. They're gonna say just inside the sideline here, and another point for Moses Lake at a good start for the Mavericks here, leading it six to one. McDonald continues on the service. Sydney serve is collected by Mackenzie Sherman for Eastmont. Get it, get it back across. Up front it comes, here's a set, and a little soft touch by Stewart. Eastmont with the counter, and Seltz will get it across, and it will skin through the fingertips of Pew and be a point for Eastmont. So the Wildcats snap a six-point run there for Moses Lake. 
Service for Hamilton. Rachel serve hits the net. And boy, it crawled over. That is so tough because you're expecting the ball to come one way and then it skims across that net and no chance for Catherine Pugh to have much to do with that one. So it's a point for Eastbaugh. Service goes back line. Boy, that was a powerful serve there for Hamilton. Mose Lake gets back across by Stewart. Up front, here's the kill attempt and a beautiful strike by Emma Bennett. And the point will go to Eastmont. Momentum swings certainly as quick as a kill <laughs> here in volleyball. 6-4. Again, service, Rachel Hamilton. Hamilton with a nasty serve, and that will go out of bounds off of the outstretched arms of Jaslyn Torres. She couldn't handle it, and it's a point to Eastmont. Hamilton a chance to tie it up here for Eastmont. Again, backline serve. There this time is Stewart. They'll get it up and rotate it around, but the kill attempt is too long by Maddie Bond, and it will go over to a point to Eastmont. We're all tied at six. Our first tie since it was zeros. Here in the first game. Again, a deep serve right there, Stewart. They'll rotate it around, and then punching it back over is Pew. Up front it comes. Here's Seltz. Ooh, nice soft touch. Looking for a hole in the pond. Eastmont with a counter now. They got to get it back over, and they do. Up front, Moses Lake will punch it back over with just two strikes. And now the kill attempt, a little soft serve. And then, whoa, what a point. This is back and forth. And this one will be an Eastmont point as Emma Bennett will finally find a shoulder upon which the ball will move out of bounds off of. Maddie Bond there for Moses Lake, but she couldn't quite corral it. 7-6. It's her second lead change. Moses Lake on the return of the serve, and it kind of went no man's land. Back there was Wolsborn. She kind of looked aside her by Michael Staines, and nobody could get that one, so it's a point for Moses Lake, and the Mavericks will send Kenneth Stewart back on the back line to serve by the 5'8 sophomore. Stewart serve. Hits it at first unforced error of the game on a serve by Moses Lake. We'll get our first substitution here of the contest as Sammy Beck will come in and replace Jasmine Seltz. And Beck will have the service. Beck serve is across. <laughs> Moses Lake can't quite get it back across the net. Back there on the return was Jaslyn Torres, the libero. But then after her initial hit, they just couldn't quite get the rotation right. Back on the second service in a row, and it goes right into the net. So two unforced errors on the serves for Eastmont, one for Moses Lake. Brings our game to within one at 9-8 here. Again, it's the best out of five games. First to win three games wins the match. Service, Wolfsborn. Up front it comes to Hamilton, and then the kill, but it's too deep. Ties our game at nine. Our second tie. Two ties, two lead changes here in the first one. Good one on hand here tonight early at Eastbourne High School. Again, the service is by Torres. Here's a kill at the line by Bennett, and it is, is it in? No, they're going to say it's out, too deep. So point, another lead change. Third here of this first game. Torres on the service. Cross court to Wolfsborn. Up front it goes, then the kill attempt, and they won't be able to return this one. As Emma Bennett found the right spot on the near side court's back line, Kaylee Kellum just couldn't quite get a good fist to it. So we're tied again at 10. Kellum is there this time. Up front, it comes to McDonald, and the kill attempt at the net is struck. Wolfsborn keeps it alive. East wants to get it over. They do. Here's the battle back by Moses Lake. They get it back across. Wow, what a scramble by both sides here. Wolfsborn cross court. Kellum is there. Up front, it comes back to Kellum. The kill it goes out of bounds. No, they're going to say it's in. Oh, my. That 
block at the net, skying up high for Eastmont was Tamira Scott along with Mackenzie Sherman. And uh, that ball goes inside once it went across the net. So a point for Eastmont, 11-10 Wildcats. And now back comes Moses Lake with a kill by Manny Bond. And another tie. How about this one? Service will be by Matty Bond from the right side with a right hand. Cross court she'll go, and it's way deep. Good communication by Eastmont as they will take the points and we'll get substitutions here for Moses Lake. Annalise Hernandez comes in, and for Eastmont, it's Lydia Riggs. So Riggs will drop back and serve it here for the Wildcats, leading at 12-11. Five lead changes, four ties in this one. I think that's going to be kind of how the night goes. I have a sense this might go all five games. That hit by Moses Lake was a little bit wide of the mark, so a point to Eastmont. They lead it by two. It's their largest lead in this game, two points. Again, the service, jump serve, down the middle it goes. Torres is there. Here's the set up front, and Kellum with a nice soft touch. Eastmont counters. Wolfsborn got it over, cross court. It's going to come back over again. Eastmont touch, and the point goes to the Wildcats. Right there is Tamira Scott. Eastmont by three. Again, you play to 25, or you're going to win by two. We are talking about that with Eastmont and Wenatchee last week, and going 29-27 for the first game. Back line it goes, Moses Lake is there, Stewart got it. Now here's the kill attempt at the net by Andrews, and it will be long. And a timeout going to be taken by Moses Lake. We'll take a break as well. 30 seconds on the broadcast, 15-11, our score, Eastmont up by four. You're watching Big Nine Volleyball on the NCAA Life Channel. You've got a lot to do today. While you're out and about, remember to dispose of your unused medications safely and anonymously. It's a simple act that makes your home a safer place. Next time you're at the pharmacy, just place them in the drop box. To find a location, visit medproject.org. Broadcast tonight here on the NCW Life Channel brought to you in part by Abby's Pizza. For more than 50 years, Abby's has proudly served the Northwest with toppings to the edge, 100% real cheese and freshly rolled dough. Making an Abby's Pizza night tonight. Sounds pretty good. I wonder if they deliver to the side the line, the side table here. Kind of hard to announce a game with pizza in my mouth, though. Service after the timeout by Moses Lake. Goes to the back line. Here's a set up front, and Kellum is there, and this one will split the hands of the defense and fall in for a point. Nice job by Kaylee Kellum. She'll be replacing the lineup here by Reagan Hoffines, who will drop back to serve as the Mavericks trail it by three here, 15-12. Right hand from the left side doesn't hardly, uh, in fact, doesn't take a jump. Most of them are a jump serve these days, but no. Flat-footed is Hoffines, and she gets it to creep over the top of the nets for a point for Moses Lake. Thundering serve that time. Beck is there. Back line, it goes to Wolfsborn. They need to get it over. Beck does. Torres is there. Up front it comes. Here's a kill attempt by Stewart. Eastmont with a kill attempt, but a little bit too long for Jasmine Seltz. Or who was that that had the kill? I don't think it was Seltz. It was uh, Lydia Riggs, I think, on the kill attempt. Couldn't quite get it. One point game again. Back line, it goes to the libero for Eastmont, Michael Staines. And this one is out. And we're tied. Five ties, five lead changes. Moses Lake looking to take advantage here. On a good serving by Reagan Hoffines, the 5-5 junior defensive specialist with the serve. Cross court she'll go. Beck is there. Up front on the set. And here's a nasty strike at the net on the kill. It's good by Tamira Scott. Boy, she's had some key moments so far for Eastmont in this one. Moses Lake up by one. Substitution, Seltz. Will come back in for the Wildcats. 
Service will be on the back line here for Tori Wolsborn. Tori's serve down the line. It kind of hit the I think it hit the side of the face of Reagan Hoffines, who was going down towards the knee to try to get the angle on it. And uh, that ball had some English to it. 17-15, Eastmont by two. Wolsborn again on the serve here. She'll go down the line. Moses Lake is there. Looks like they're a little out of sorts and a double hit going to be called here against Hoffines. 18-15. Eastmont matching his largest lead here in this first game. Wolfsborn on the serve. From the middle, this one's going to be out. Good communication by Moses Lake on that one because it was close. Substitution here. Torres will come out. In comes the six-foot senior, Catherine Pugh. And now the service is by Peyton Andrews. They got it across. And here's the kill attempt. But uh, mistiming her jump there a little bit was Tamira Scott. Well, the first one she's missed here in this first game. Point to Moses Lake. They stay on the serve here with Peyton Andrews. Back line, it goes to Staines. Now Eastmont needs to get it back over after the block at the net by Moses Lake. Up front, it comes to McDonald. The kill attempt, a little right-hander backing up was Bond. And now it's just tip, tip, tipped over the top of the nets. Moses Lake now with the counter. McDonald gets it back over. Staines. Now to set the kill. Oh, that's a beauty from Tori Wolfsborn. Just rifled it. She was about seven feet from the net. Gets the point for Eastmont. Michael Staines on the service here for Eastmont. Right-hander from the left side. Let's see which way she decides to go here as per Coach Corinne Davis. She'll go back line to Torres. Up front to McDonald. There's the kill attempt. A little soft. Beautiful job finding a hole in the pond for Moses Lake by Kenneth Stewart. Point to the Mavericks substitution. Maddie Bond comes back in to replace Annalise Hernandez. The service will be to Sydney McDonald. She's the one that started things off here. A little soft serve. Staines is there. Now the kill attempt by Seltz, and that's a good idea. You can kick it. You can. That's legal. But Kenneth Stewart, despite the attempt, couldn't quite get enough to get a teammate to help her out there. Substitution here for Eastmont. In comes Rachel Hamilton. She'll have the serve five away from winning this first game. Hamilton right hand from the right side will go right down the line. Stepping in front was Hoffines. And now Torres from the back line will get it back over. Here's the sets, and the kill attempt again by Wolfsborn will go off a fist and out of bounds, and Torrey's having a good game. Two in a row from right in the middle of the pond back there on the offensive attack here for Eastmont. And Wolfsborn's been able to find the range twice. Service. Cross court, Torres up front to McDonald. Now... Not a kill attempt, just getting it across was Pew. Eastmont went outside the antenna, and they're going to say, yeah, that's out of bounds. As McKinsey Sherman kind of had a miss hit here near side and goes outside that antenna that stretched above the net. If you go outside of that, that's out of bounds. Now the ball can hit the roof here, and you can play it off of it. That's inbounds. Jump serve goes right into the net by Kenneth Stewart. So both teams with two unforced errors each on services. Eastmont with the points, and Sammy Beck will come in to serve it here and try to win it for Eastmont. Again, these teams met earlier on September 15th in Moses Lake with the Mavericks coming out top three games to one. Served by Beck. No, right into the net it goes. Our broadcast brought to you in part by Biosports Physical Therapy. Find them online at biosports.net. Open Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. The libero, Jaslyn Torres, will have the service. Right in front of your camera lens there. And now a nice little touch at the net for Eastmont as Moses Lake counters. Oh, there is beautiful spot by Kellum. McDonald needs to get it back over. They do. I thought that was four touches, but I guess not. Wolfsborn, kill, goes off a finger and will be a point. 
to Eastmont, 23-20. Wildcats two away from a win here. Emma Bennett on the service for Eastmont. Ooh, that's a tough serve. Kellum is there. Now he, Moses Lake just scrambling. They got it across. Wolvesborn up front. Here's the kill attempt, and it's a point. And right there again for Eastmont, Tamira Scott. She has had a great first game here for Eastmont. Wildcats trying to wrap it up here. Service down the line again. Kellum is there. Up front to McDonald. Back to Kellum. Kellum with the swipe and point. There was a little bit of an attempt at a block up front by Eastmont as Tamira Scott got up high, but she didn't get much of it just enough really to kind of hamper the teammate getting a chance to return it. So Moses Lake stays alive here. Wolvesborn, and now it's a scramble time for Eastmont. They do get it across. All right, here comes Moses Lake. McDonald with the set for Kellum. Oh, that is a nasty kill at the net. For Kaylee Kellum, makes it a two-point contest. 24-22, got a win by two. Service for Moses Lake by Maddie Bond. It's across, down to Anigos. Beck up front, it comes. Here's the kill, it's out. About a volleyball width out on the kill by Scott. 24-23. Do you win it on an offensive point or a defensive point? Here's the serve. It's soft in the middle. It's a kill attempt by Kellum. Right there is Beck. Up front it comes. Here's the cross court for Wolvesborn. She goes across. Now scramble for Moses Lake. They do get it across. Up front at Scott, she'll get, no, I thought she might get the set attempt, but it was to Wolvesborn. Now to McDonald. What a point for this last point. Will it be the last point of this first game? Eastmont trying to make it happen right here. They go for a hole in the pond, and they get it. Eastmont 25, Moses Lake 23 here in game one. We will have game two coming up. Our broadcast brought to you in part by Confluence Health. High quality care close to home. Confluence Health dedicated to improving their patients' health with safe, high quality care in 12 communities. Back with our second game coming up next here on the NCW Life Channel. Hi, my car's making a funny noise. Not a problem. We'll take care of you. Global Car Care's technicians are ASE master techs and well versed in the more refined methods of vehicular diagnostics. Number three piston and rings have a slight loss of compression, down to 108 pounds. Your transmission is slipping. You're going to need a service. Looks like you're all set. These guys, they're good. Oh, and your spare is flat. Global Car Care, Wenatchee's top shop. The newest generation of GMC Sierra pickups offer the most advanced technology, the strongest selection of powertrain, and everything else you need to work hard, play hard, and explore the boundaries of the Wenatchee Valley and beyond. Take a look at the latest, most luxurious and durable trucks on the market. You will see why GMC is not your grandfather's pickup. You want to bet, kid? You're watching Big Nine Volleyball tonight here on the NCW Life Channel, brought to you in part by Dick's Heating and Air Conditioning, providing heating and air conditioning service and installation since 1982. Serving residential and commercial, they specialize in indoor air quality, installation and service, or repair. Appreciate you joining us tonight here on the NCW Life Channel. Get you uh, Major League Baseball scores from tonight. Mariners fell to Houston earlier today, surrendering a walk-off three-run home run in the bottom of the ninth. Ouch, yes, that hurt. In game one of their American League Division Series. Meanwhile, it's the top of the ninth inning, and New York leads Cleveland 4-1. to one. Bottom of the third in the Los Angeles, Dodgers leading San Diego 2-0. And earlier today, it was Philadelphia surprising Atlanta 7-6 the final there. So the Phillies kind of on a roll right now here in the postseason. We are getting closer to the postseason here in high school volleyball. Just four games left after tonight. Four matches left after tonight. Moses Lake should have the service, I believe. Didn't they serve her? I think Eastmont. Yeah, okay. Well, I'll wait for the officials to tell me. Again, our officials, Kirk Einsbar is the gentleman up at the referee stanchion there over on the far side from us. Tina Mitchell is our official here on the floor. She has the duties of making sure that everybody's in the right spot. 
on the court before we start play. And where will the ball go? Yeah, I think it should be Moses Lake service. It is. All right. I was right. It will be CC Tournament who will have the service for this one to start game two after Eastmont won the first game. 25-23. That was the entertaining one. Wolfsborn will take the first whack at it. Back line to Torres. Up front to McDonald. They'll rotate it around. And there on the kill attempt was Bond. Eastmont counters. Bondcats need to get it across. They do. Backing up with a shot was Pugh. Now a little fist by Stewart. And Pugh gets it back over. Eastmont sets it up. Kill attempts. Blocked. Sets. Gets over. Scramble. Stains. And down the line it goes off of Seltz and will be a point to Eastmont. As the ball goes out of bounds, Torres tried to get down there to it. So much mental in these games, talking with both head coaches beforehand, saying that uh, there's been a real challenge on the mental side of things. Here's a deep serve, and this is too deep for Eastmont. By I think the service was by Rachel Hamilton. So even up at one. We had five ties, five lead changes in our first game here tonight with Eastmont coming out on top, 25-23. Service will be by Cardin Martinez. She's up off the JV roster, and she'll get basically an ace, as they could Eastmont could not handle her first serve. Cardin is a freshman. How about it getting a chance to play here for Moses Lake? Service again. This one will touch the net and then fall over for another ace. How about that? A little freshman luck. Five foot nine inch Cardin Martinez for the Mavericks. Again, service down the line. It'll get handled by Eastbox and then the Wildcats will dink it over the line. Seltz will get credit for a kill there. Point to the Wildcats. We'll get substitutions here. In for Moses Lake comes Kenneth Stewart. And Sammy Beck will come in for his spot. She will be the server. One lead change, one tie so far. And Wildcats at the net. Looks like somebody went into the net, but maybe they're just going to say the ball touched the net. So they keep it alive here. Kill attempt, and this one goes into the top of the net here for Emma Bennett. Kind of a hard luck kill there. Point to Moses Lake. In for the Mavericks comes Kylie Voss. Coach Crystal Tram Trammell getting a good rotation in there right now. Torres on the serve. Back line it goes to Beck. Reverse set, and ooh, that was kind of an ugly one for Eastmont. Trying to streak in there was Mackenzie Sherman, but she really couldn't have a chance to get to that one. On the set by Rachel Hamilton. Torres on the service. Back line, it will go to Staines. Now across to Woolsborn. They're going to say a lift against Torrey and a point to Moses Lake. Chiefs led in that first game, 6-1. to one. That was the largest uh, difference we've had in the entire match so far tonight. They're out to a 6-2 start here. Beck up front. Now the kill by Wolfborn. This time no lift called. And Moses Lake gets it over with Stewart. Up front it comes for the sets by Hamilton. Block. And we're going to say, what do we have? Into the net goes Eastmont. Point to Moses Lake. Timeout going to be taken by Corinne Davis. We'll take a 30-second break of the broadcast as well. 7-2 lead by Moses Lake. You're watching Big Nine Volleyball here on the NCW Life Channel. Thanks to Les Schwab tires, I'm a confident vaccine driver, but mine's a little stressed about spending. Remember, deep breaths and watch your speed. Even though we're watching our wallets, Les Schwab is still watching out for our safety. So it's right here. Don't stress, just save up to $250 on select tires with financing at our Les Schwab Fall Tire Sale. Les Schwab Tires, doing the right thing since 1952. 
So the first time out taken by Eastmont in the contest finds the Wildcats trailing the Mavericks seven to two in the early portions of the second game after Eastmont won the first one 25-23. Our broadcast brought to you in part by Global Car Care. ASC certified technicians will take good care of your vehicle whether you need general maintenance or have a European specialty car. You can count on Global to keep you on the road. Torres continues on the service here for Moses Lake. Back line it goes. Staines is there. Now a little tip and a touch and a, I think two hits. Whoa, whoa, oh. They're going to say Eastmont over the net and a point to Moses Lake. Oh, my. Kirk Einsbar was kind of looking through the heavens for a little help on the call there. I thought they were going to call two touches by the same player by Moses Lake, but no. Point to the Mavericks. 8-2 the score. Largest of the contest. Kill at the nets by Bennett. Here comes Moses Lake on the counter. They get it across, does Pew. Now up front, Wolsborn goes, trying to find a hole in the pond. Good job getting down to a knee by Trinneman. Back line, it goes to Staines. Up front for the set, here's the kill attempt. Moses Lake does a good job getting down to it. Does Matty Bond, but can't do much more than that. And it's a point to East Bond. So Eastmont snaps a 6-0 run there by the Mavericks. And in to serve it will be Emma Bennett. Bennett serve is out. Kind of went awkwardly off of her hand there. And she will quickly come out and in will come Michael Staines. And the service will go to Moses Lake and to Maddie Bond. 5'9", sophomore, back line to Beck. Defensive in her posturing there as Eastmont gets it across. Now the set up front, a little touch by Kylie Voss. They get it across, does Moses Lake. Here's Wolsborn. I think that was touched at the net. Yes, it was by Moses Lake. It'll be a point to Eastmont. Annalise Hernandez comes back in for the Mavericks and back in for Eastmont comes Lydia Riggs and she'll have the serve. Her team trailing it by five, nine four here in our second game tonight. Nice serve, Torres down, got enough of it to get it across. A little touch at the net by Voss. Now here's a kill attempt by Eastmont. Nice shot by Scott, and Moses Lake quickly gets it back over. Tori Wolsborn got it. Now the set here up front by Turtleman, and a block, and the ball will spin out of bounds. And the block attempt by Kaylee Kellum. And it will be a point to Moses Lake. Coming in is Reagan Huffines. She will have the serve as the Mavericks are up by six. Huffines, back line, Wolfsborn barely got enough of it. It comes back to Tori. She'll get it back over. And Stewart is there. Stewart, ooh, almost had a collision there. Stewart got it across, but then... Not good communication by Eastmont. It falls on their side of that for a point for Moses Lake. Over the tail of two games from one to the next. Lead is now at 7, 11 4. Service about two feet too low on the rifle shot by Hoffines there. Tori Wolsborn will have the service. Sammy Beck will be replaced in the lineup for Eastmont by Jasmine Seltz. Get a little hops on the front line here for the Cats. Wolfsborn service, back line it goes. Nice job getting down to it by Hernandez. It'll come up front. Moses Lake will get it across. Now the set for Seltz just checked in. They're going to say it hit the antenna, so that's out. Even if it hits the antenna, it doesn't have to uh, hit the antenna go on the inside of the antenna. Just if it glances on the an at that antenna, it's considered out of bounds. Be the same if it basically hit the bleachers and then came back in. No, can't do that. Catherine Pugh comes back in. Service for Moses Lake. Back to Staines. Up front, here's the kill attempt. And Eastmont able to get it across. Nice job of scrambling. Tamira Scott was there for the Wildcats. Here's a little touch looking for a hole in the pond. And Seltz is there for Eastmont. Here's the kill at the net by the Wildcats. Tamron Heimbickner and blocks and points Moses Lake. How about that? Kylie Voss with her team up by eight. Cross-court serve, Seltz is there. Now a scramble up front, Seltz will bring it back across. Moses Lake up front, here's the kill attempt by Pugh. She'll go for the corner, a little bit too deep. Olsborn let that one go, and that was a good choice. 
Emma Bennett will come back in for Eastmont, and back to serve is Michael Staines. Junior checks over to her coach with a finger behind her back on where she wants it to be served, and now her serve goes right into the net. One per side of those unforced errors on the service here in this game between the two teams. Substitution for Moses Lake, Maddie Bond comes back in, and the service will be for CC Tournament. Tournament serve. Good. Wolfsborn is there. Up front on the set, and that set just a little bit too far forward, and nothing that Jasmine Stelz can do on that. It's all about the second strike. You get the return, that's fine, but you got to set it up. Again, Wolfsborn flawling to the ground. Does a nice job just getting it over. So too does Seltzer. Now back across Moses Lake as the set is for Bennett up front. Mavericks counter. Here's the kill attempt at the net by Stewart. Eastmont with their own counter. Here's Wolfsborn. It's been a favorite spot for her. Torres is there. We're going to get, oh, hang on, point. A, a double hit called against Moses Lake. So a little rush here by Eastmont. They now trail it by 8, 15, 7. Self's going to drop down and tie her shoe while in comes Rachel Hamilton for the service. Hamilton with a powerful serve. Back line to Hoffines. Now up front to Pugh. Oh, nice job just to get an arm to that one. Seltz too low on her strike. Came swooping up with the right hand and just didn't have the trajectory right or the timing right. Kellum comes back in for Moses Lake, as does Cardin Martinez. She'll have the service here. Again, the freshman. Her team up by nine. Biggest lead of the game. Kill attempt. Cardin is there. Up front it comes. Pew gets it back over. Eastmont, maybe that could have been out of bounds, but too close to call. Wildcats can't get it back over again as Michael Staines. They just seem to be out of sorts here a little bit, does Eastmont. On the second strike, trailing it by 10, 17, 7. Again, Martinez on the service. Into the net, crosses the net. That's the second time the freshman has had that happen here tonight. Better to be lucky than good sometimes. And a timeout going to be taken by Eastmont. We'll take a 30-second break and come back. 18-7, Moses Lake on top. You're watching Big Nine Volleyball on the NCW Life Channel. You've got a lot to do today. While you're out and about, remember to dispose of your unused medications safely and anonymously. It's a simple act that makes your home a safer place. Next time you're at the pharmacy, just place them in the drop box. To find a location, visit medproject.org. Welcome back once again here to Eastmont High School where Moses Lake leads our second game 18-7 here. After Eastmont won the opener 25-23. Wildcats trying to return the favor of what Moses Lake did on their home floor earlier this season, taking out Eastmont three games to one. Service by the freshman, Carden Martinez. The timeout was taken by Eastmont. Martinez on the service. Back line it goes. Wolfsborn just kind of defensive there. Seltz with the kill and a point. So the timeout aids Eastmont's cause. Back in comes Stewart for Moses Lake. Sammy Beck also returns in the lineup here for Eastmont. She'll have the service. Ten point differential in this one. Beck, back line. There is Stewart. Up front it comes. Keller. Killer. Look out. Boy, for someone who does not have all the height in the world, she has the hops. That's for sure. The 5'7 senior lifts up and gets the big kill for the Mavericks. Service here will be by Jaslyn Torres as Moses Lake leads it by 11. Staines is there. Down to Tori Wolfsborn down the line. In! Ooh, good vision by Tori. Right spot, right time. 19 9, 10 point differential. Bennett comes back in for Eastbond. She will have the service. 
and her service down the line. Kellum with the return. Moses Lake gets back over by Mandy Bond. Now up front it comes. Here's the kill attempt, and it's in. Oh my! How about that for Mackenzie Sherman? Coach Corinne Davis clapping her hands together at the effort of her 5'6 senior. And Bennett again on the serve. There is Kellum. They'll rotate it around, and Torres will just have to bump it back over. Back line to Beck. Up front, here's the kill attempt again. A little soft touch by Sherman. Back line to Beck. Up front it comes. Here's the kill. It oh, look out. <laughs> Nearly falling down on the play was Tamira Scott. I don't know if she slipped on some moisture on the floor or what, but she almost went completely down. And so the points to benefit Moses Lake here, 20 to 10. And they're going to wipe up some moisture on the floor. Our broadcast tonight and brought to you in part by Highlander Golf Course and Grill. Plan your next tournament and event today. Call the Pro Shop and schedule your time in their full swing S4 widescreen golf simulators at 509-884-4653. That's 509-884-4653. Got to score at half. East Mont Moses Lake soccer tonight. Get to that here in a moment. Says Eastmont scrambling. We'll try to get it back over. They do, and it's in. Moses Lake with a little touch. Now falling down. Bodies all over the place. Staines gets it back across. Moses Lake on the counter here. Trinneman up front. Oh, what a point. <laughs> that was a scramble from the start by Eastmont. The point to Moses Lake. They lead it 21 10. Score at halftime. Eastmont and Moses Lake, well, score less. 0 0 at the half. Beck gets it back across. Torres on the back line. She has it. Trillman up front. Here's a little touch. Bodies scrambling. And Tori Wolsborn went completely under the nets and completely on the wrong side of the floor. As the kids say, you can't do that. Point to Moses Lake 22 10. Mavericks in charge here in game two. Jump serve into the net, it goes. Second unforced error on a serve by Moses Lake here. As Bond, who had the serve, will come out. Hernandez comes in. Meanwhile, for Eastmont, in comes Lydia Riggs, and she'll have the service. Trailing it by a lot. Served by Riggs. Good. Torres down to a knee. Up front, Trillman. Here's a little touch by Killam. Eastmont with hands over the top of the net. I don't know. That could have been a call there. Wolsborn with a punch. Torres with the return. And now they just get it back across. There's Beck. Kind of a defensive move. Wolsborn tries to go cross court, but right there is Stewart. Here's Killam. And her kill in point. Mavericks 23-11. Kellum gets high fives all around as she heads to the bench. And Reagan Hoffine is going to try to finish it up here for Moses Lake. Hoffine's with the serve. Deep it goes. And this will get back over. Oh, opportunity for a nice little thank you, ma'am. Up front by Kenneth Stewart. But no, can't quite get it there. So he spot stays alive. Beck replaced in the lineup here by Seltz. Service by Tori Wolsborn. Tori Sir back line. Torres is there. Up front it comes, a block and a point. Nice job by Eastmont that time around as he got the bodies in the right spot, arms in the right spot. Tamira Scott with the block and a point to the Wildcats. They trail it by 10. If you wait to do your homework and suddenly it's the next day it's due and you think, oh my gosh, how am I gonna, how am I gonna eat this elephant I have? I've waited, I've waited too long. It's this giant, giant thing in front of me. Well, you do it one bite at a time. That's what Eastmont's doing right now in this differential in this game as they've cut it to nine now, 23-14. Wolsborn on the serve. Nice little soft serve down the line. Moses Lake scrambling. They get it back across. Wolsborn is there. Up front it comes. Here's the touch by Seltz. It got across. Down. Oh, hit the antenna. That's out. Point to Eastmont. Little instruction going on here for Coach Trammell. Meanwhile, Wolsborn trying to reel off a bunch in a row here for the Cats. 
Uh, he gets it across. Up front for the set by Trillman. Here's the touch. Eastmont with a counter, making sure they get it across and don't try to do something that they're out of control. And that hit, a little bit too strong, too long. Off the hand of Kylie Voss. And we're going to get a timeout taken by Moses Lake. A little momentum here change. As Eastmont trying to come back, trails at 23-16. We'll take a 30-second break and come back. You're watching Big Nine Volleyball tonight here on the NCW Life Channel. I'm Brian Thorpe, and I'm proud to say that Global Car Care is growing. We always do the right thing, and because of that, we're busy, and it's time to hire an experienced automotive technician. We spend as much time with our coworkers as we do our own family. I want them to understand they're not a number here. They're a person with a family, and I want them to be part of this family too. Do you want an owner that understands and respects what you do every day? I'm that guy. Our compensation is the best in the area. I want you to have your career with us. 23-16 at one point, Eastmont Trail 23-10 in this game. Been a little uh, landslide, so that's why head coach Crystal Trammell taking a timeout, trying to stop the momentum here for Eastmont. Red zone is pink tonight here for the Wildcats. Tori Wolsborn continues on the serve. She will get it across. <clears throat> Moses Lake on the counter, a little soft touch. Good job getting down on the floor. Bodies are out of sorts. Eastmont got it back over. Almost a carry could have been called there. Up front it comes to Stewart. Crosses over and to Seltz. Now the kill attempt. Excuse me, it was Scott, then Seltz. Now the touch, and now just a defensive move. Torres had it. Now getting it across for Moses Lake is Hernandez. Up front it comes for Eastmont. The reverse set, cross court. Point! Eastmont, Cameron Heinbigner with the points. Quite a little run here for Eastmont. Seven points in a row for the Wildcats to make it a six-point contest. Wolfsborn continues on the serve. Just a barely baby hit. To no, how oh, about it's going to go down for an ace. Scrambling and diving for it was Hoffines. Wolfsborn can barely control herself, giggling back there at her good fortunes on the serve. Again, Tori, back line, Hoffines up front, this touch, and now Moses Lake gets back across. Staines is there up front for the set. Wolfsborn, too deep. That time around, a little bit too much Wheaties, and it will be a point for Moses Lake, and they're one away from winning this game. 24-18. Service will be to Kylie Voss. Voss on the service. It's across. Staines is there. And that's going to be a touch at the net by Moses Lake. Staines right there again. Now a little touch for Eastmont. And Moses Lake keeps it alive. they got to get it across. They do. Up front. Here's the sets. And Seltz with it. Hits the ceiling. And another point for Eastmont. They stay alive. Well of momentum on the Eastmont side, but they can't give up another point here. A service by Michael Staines. And that will do it. Unforced air for Eastmont will end it here with Moses Lake on top, 25 to 19. But that was quite a comeback by Eastmont. We'll see if they can continue that way of play as we head to the third game here tonight, even at a game of peace. Our broadcast on the NCW Life Channel brought to you in part by Harvest Valley Pest Control. Living healthy, local, and pest-free, you can rest assured with Harvest Valley Pest Control. They're using kid and pet safe material around your home or office. Call Harvest Valley Pest Control today for your free estimate at 509-423-2207. That's 509-423-2207 for Harvest Valley Pest Control. Take a break. Come back after this 60-second timeout. You're watching Big Nine Volleyball on the NCW Live Channel. We were in Roseburg in the early 80s. Our oldest son, Dan, was a defensive back, a starter on that team. They set, in fact, became Oregon State champions, setting the first undefeated 14-0 season in Oregon's history. And our kids still talk about that. I go back now, too, and I think about all those great days and great times. The neat thing is that we can go back in today and still enjoy the same quality food that we enjoyed 50 years ago. That's legendary. The newest generation of GMC Sierra pickups offer the most advanced technology, 
the strongest selection of powertrain and everything else you need to work hard, play hard, and explore the boundaries of the Wenatchee Valley and beyond. Take a look at the latest, most luxurious and durable trucks on the market. You will see why GMC is not your grandfather's pickup. You want to bet, kid? You're watching Big Nine Volleyball tonight here on the NCW Live Channel, where we have split the first two games. Eastmont won the first 25-23. Moses Lake came back to win the second 25-19. So we're going at least four games here tonight. Game three moments ahead. We'll get you up to date on scores from Major League Baseball playoffs. The division series. Houston, of course, beating Seattle earlier today, 8-7 on a walk-off home run by Jordan Alvarez. The NLDS, Dodgers lead San Diego 5-0 after three. Philadelphia took a one-to-none advantage over Atlanta in game one of that NLDS with a 7-6 win today. Meanwhile, it is final in New York where the Yankees have beaten Cleveland in game one of that ALDS series. Four to one the final. Both sides getting everything figured out here on who goes where. East want you to have the serve to start it off here. Again, after tonight, Eastmont will host Sunnyside coming up on Thursday. Then travel to West Valley next week. Host Davis and finish at, excuse me, this is Moses Lake's schedule coming up. They'll finish at Wenatchee. Eastmont, after tonight, so will play at Eisenhower on Thursday. So a couple of games here, just a day rest in between. So we're underway, game two, or game three, I should say. And uh, Moses Lake, are they going to keep this alive? No, it's going to fall in for a point for Eastmont. So that's the first time, well, no, Miswan got the first point of the first game. Went on to win that one 25-23. Five lead changes, five ties. Just one lead change, one tie in our second game as Moses Lake raced out to an early 8-1 lead. Ended up winning at 25-19. Michael Staines on the service. Oh, that's a tough one. Down to a knee to get it was Moses Lake. Oh, a beautiful little touch at the net by Kenneth Stewart, and she'll find a hole in the pond for the points. All tied up at one apiece. Service for Trittleman. Ooh, down to a knee and a little shove across. That's going to be a point for Eastmont. On a nice idea up front for the Wildcats. I think that was Mackenzie Sherman. He just kind of shoveled that across the net. Service here for the Wildcats by Rachel Hamilton. Hamilton serves, smacks the ball. Back line to Stewart. Up front, here's Torres. Got a slap hand to it, and they're going to give a point to Moses Lake here. Sometimes, you know, a happy accident. That ball, I'm sure, was not how she wanted it to come off her hand, but er, er, turned out to be kind of a knuckleball as it smacked the palm of her hand and a point. And here comes the freshman. Carney Martinez on the serve. Back line to Wolfsborn. Up front it comes. Here's Bennett on the kill. And no, it'll go into the net. Point to Moses Lake. Hernandez, or Martinez, excuse me, on the service here. She'll go across to Wolfsborn. Here's the set. Bennett is there. Torres with the return. Now across to Kellum. She tried to go in the middle of the pond, but Staines is there. Now a little touch and a roll along the top of the net and then go hit the antenna. So that's out, and that's a point to Eastmont. Tamron Heimbigner with a grimace on her side as we have our second tie here in this one. Sammy Beck will replace Heimbigner in the lineup, but she'll come to the sideline and get some high fives from her teammates. She'll take a spot on the end of the bench, and Sammy Beck. See if she can give Eastmont the lead back. Little uh, miscommunication on the back line there. Moses Lake got it over. Now coming back down, this is across to the uh, Mavericks. Now a kill attempt. Boy, that was a hefty hit by Bond, but there is Eastmont. Staines got it across. Up front it comes. And, oh, lack 
of communication. Who's going to take it? Yours, yours, no. Tournament with a beautiful shot for Moses Lake. And the point will fall in. Kylie Voss checks back in for the Mavericks and back to serve is Jaslyn Torres. Torres to the middle. Stains. That ball kind of rode up high on her arms. Didn't have much after it uh, collided with her forearm. And then that is it. And a point for Moses Lake. 5 3. Mavericks on top. Torres on the serve. Again goes to Staines. The set up front, and it uh, is awkwardly returned here for Eastmont. And a reverse set and a kill down the line. Hit the net off of Maddie Bond's hand. It will be a point to the Wildcats. Substitution back in comes to Myra Scott. And back to serve is Emma Bennett. Bennett serve is across. Back line, it goes to Stewart. Up front, here's the kill attempt by Kellum. And instead of the kill, she'll just lift up with the left fingers and let that softly fall in for the point. 6-4. Maddie Bond here with the serve for Moses Lake. Cross court to Woolsbourne. Up front, it comes to Hamilton. Now the kill attempt is sailing wide. Kenzie Sherman with the kill attempt there for Eastmont. Nope. Maddie Bond with a service. Largest lead of the contest in this third game. Three points here for Moses Lake. Set. And again, Eastmont just having a hard time with its sets here. The last two games. Scott is there. Wolfsborn. What a kill attempt, but uh, Torres is up for the challenge. Now to kill him. Back line it goes to Staines. Now up front, little touch. Comes back over. Scott had to be ready twice in a row. She's up to the challenge. It was Sherman got it back over. Here's Kellum. Block at the net. Falls in. Point Eastmont. Wow, what a volley that was. And a great block up front by Scott and by Sherman for Eastmont. 7-5 the score. Checking in is Lydia Riggs. She'll have the service for the Wildcats. Her serve goes back line. And a little touch at the nets by Trinneman. Good idea. Now Wolfsborn to kill him to Trinneman. And getting it across is Voss. Up front it comes for Eastmont. Wolfsborn again goes cross court. Kill him is there. Now, Kellum will get it back across to Stain. Here's the set and a kill attempt, but Torres on the back line is up for the challenge to Kellum. Kellum cross court, Beck is there. Up front, here's the set, Wolfsborn, little touch. Kellum down to a knee, gets it. Up front, it goes to Trinneman. Now, Eastmont with the counter, Beck just a little shove on the fist, and Kellum, good point, Moses Lake. How about that one? I want to tell you, Kaylee Kellum has come in for some quality moments here for Moses Lake here in this one. Mavericks lead it by 3-8-5. Service, Hoffines. He just checked in, and boy, that's an ace. Michael Staines trying to reach up. That ball was going to go in, and just, I mean, it was too far for her to reach. Hoffines, cannon of a serve again. Up front, here's the set. And Seltz with a nasty strike. Jasmine gets the point for Eastmont. 9-6. In comes Heimbigner again for Eastmont. More height on that front row. Tori Wolsborn will have the service. Trailing it by three. Back line, and this one nearly to the net. So just touching it for the point will be CeCe Trinneman. Good idea for the senior, just a little touch, and it goes over. Service will be for Kylie Voss. Lead it by four. Back line to Eastmont. Now the set back to, and then awkwardly falling is Heimbigner. She got the return, but then the set back to her, and she just couldn't get her feet underneath of her. Moses Lake by five, trying to win their second game in a row. Service back line, that may have been too deep, but it will go into the net at another point here as Wolfsborn was falling backwards. Going to get a timeout taken. Good time for Coach 
Corinne Davis to take this time out. Our broadcast here on the NCW Life Channel brought to you in part by Les Schwab. Les Schwab takes your safety seriously every time you stop by. We'll come back. We're in the third game. Moses Lake on top 12-6. You're watching Big Nine Volleyball on the NCW Life Channel. When your heating or cooling system is giving you trouble, call the diagnostic doctor from Dick Seating and Air Conditioning. <laughs> Here's the culprit right here. All joking aside, when you call Dix, you're calling 35 years of experience at customer service right here in the Wenatchee Valley. Dix strongly believes in repairing before replacing, and they service all major brands of HVAC units. At the friendly confines of Eastmont High School, which is bathed in red and Columbia blue, but the ladies wearing pink tonight in honor of breast cancer awareness. As we are in the third game, Moses Lake on top, 12-6, and now their service after the Eastmont timeout. Wolfsborn is there. Now the setup up front, and, and they're going to say it's a point to Moses Lake because it hit the antenna off the hand of Heimbegner for Eastmont. Kylie Voss continues on the service here for Moses Lake. Voss's serve, back line to Wolfsborn. Again, Eastmont just seems to be out of sorts a little bit here. Last two games in a row, here's a kill attempt, and again, that could have been long. Kill by Heimbegner, cross court, Voss back line, got it. Now up front to Trinovan, back line to the Wildcats. They get it back across, good volley back and forth. Kill attempt at the net and just a beautiful left-handed touch by Kayla Stewart and a point for Moses Lake. Mavericks by eight. Back line to the Wildcats and this one's too deep. And Eastmont just can't seem to find it here. They did well in our first game winning at 25-23 but it's been basically all Mavericks since. Deep serve right at the net it goes Eastmont not countering and not talking and not communicating out there right now trailing it by 10 as Cotty Voss continues on the serve here the 5-9 junior for Moses Lake good serve once again there's the set at the net kill attempt is out too deep off the hand of Jasmine Seltz boy and when it when it rains it pours it seems just have a hard time finding a ball to hit the right spot. This time, finally an unforced error by Moses Lake. That'll be the first of this game off of a serve. And uh, maybe a little what the doctor ordered for Eastmont. They trail it by 10, 17, 7. That'll be up to Michael Staines to try to reverse the trend here. Staines with a service. Good serve. Now the set up front by Turnovan. A little swipe of the hand by Stewart. Now Eastmont with a counter. Heinbegner got it back across. Here is Pugh, and this one's out. And a point to Eastmont. Well, Eastmont certainly hasn't lost the spirit here. Still a lot of smiles out there, even though they trail it by nine. Service again by Staines. Ooh, tip the net, and that's going to fall in for a point. How many times do you see that? where the ball on the serve hits the top of the net and then it just loses steam, but somehow is able to crawl over and fall in for a point. 17-9. 5-6 junior with the service for Eastmont. This will get back across. And the Wildcats, Bennett's there and a double hit gonna be called against Pew for Moses Lake. And a point for the Wildcats. Can they gain the momentum back? They were down by as much as 13 in the first game. Was able to cut it down to six. It's seven here. Back line is now it's going to fall in. Right there was Reagan Hoffines, but her return was not really a good ball for Trinnaman. And now we're going to get a timeout taken by Moses Lake. How about that? So as we get a timeout on the floor, we'll take another break as well. 17-11, our score here in game three, best of five. Will we go all five? Could be. We'll come back with more right after this. 
I believe we've been coming to Abbey's for 56 years, wasn't it? Yes, yeah. 56 years. Remembering all the events as a family and a community that we spent at Abbey's. E excellent and delicious food at an affordable price. We're delighted that we live close enough to be able to be a frequent customer. And we are. And we are. <laughs> In fact, we've got orders to bring home a, a giant pizza when we leave okay. here tonight. <laughs> Watching Big Nine Volleyball tonight here on the NCW Live Channel. 17-11 our score here in the third. We're tied at a game apiece. He's not trying to come back here in the third. And again, the service, Michael Staines. Got it across. Hoffines is there up front. There's the little touch at the net. And now Moses Lake with the counter. Hoffines gets it back over. Set up front, kill in. Oh, that was a beautiful hit there by Jasmine Seltz. Five foot six inches. She rose up to about six eight there to get that ball. Five point differential. Ooh, that ball was hit awkwardly, but it's a happy accident because sprawling for it was Hernandez. And that ball on her return goes outside the antenna for a point. Four point differential. It was 10 moments ago. Stains on the service again. Torres is there. Up front it comes on the set by Turtleman. The block up front by Eastmont and another point to the Wildcats. A little rotation problem here for the Mavericks on their side of the floor. Eastmont taking advantage. Michael Staines doing a great job on the serve. Got it barely across. Hoffines down to a knee. Here's the set for Pew. There is Eastbond. Up front, this ball's going to get across and a set basically for Moses Lake, and they will capitalize with a point as Pew says, thank you very much. Breaks a string of six points in a row for Eastbond. 18-14 our score. Back in for the Mavericks comes Matty Bond with that height up front. Here's a service by Trinneman. And a miss hit on the return, but Eastmont keeps it alive. They get it. No, it hits the antenna. Heinbegner had trouble with that one from the start. Point to the Mavericks. Suddenly they are six away from winning this one. Service, back line. There is Staines up front for the set. Kill attempt by Bennett. They get it back across. Does Pew kill by Seltz? Backline Torres. Here's the set kill from the back line is over. Eastmont with a counter. Wolsborn is there. Set by the Mavericks. They get it back across again. What a volley here. Seltz block at the net. They're going to say a point to Moses Lake. That is so close to being into the net by the Mavericks, but somehow able to keep her body control and arm control as Kenneth Stewart for the block and a point for Moses Lake, 20 to 14. Back line to Wolfsborn. Up front it comes for the set here for Riggs. Moses Lake on the counter. Ooh, they almost miscommunicated there, and it turns out to be a great point for the Mavericks. Torres <laughs> able to just get that ball back across, and it's 21-14. Service again by Trinneman. Ooh, touches the top of the net and again falls in. Boy, Moses Lake getting the luck of the bounce here on several of their serves. Three away from winning their third game here tonight. And going up 2-1. Cross court, Wolsborn gets the arms on to it. Seltz with the kill. Attempt goes down, but Moses Lake keeps it alive. They get it back across. Eastmont with the counter. Here's the kill. Attempt by Heinbegner. It goes out of bounds. It'll be a point to Eastmont. Substitutions for Eastmont as Sherman comes in. So too does Rachel Hamilton. She will have the serve as the Wildcats trail it by seven. Back line, Hoffines. Up front, kill attempt, little soft swipe by uh, Bond. Eastmont counters. Torres, swipe by Pugh. Eastmont. Heimbigner gets it back across. Good job by the Wildcats. 
Here it comes up front. Kill goes into the net to the point for Eastmont on a miss hit by Matty Bond. If you're a fan of the Wildcats here, Eastmont really needs to come back and win this one, or I, I think they might just fold the tent tonight. We'll see. Service by Hamilton. Back to Torres. Up front, here's the kill attempt. A little soft touch and miscommunication for Eastmont and a nice hit by Bond and a point to Moses Lake. Substitution. In comes the freshman, Cardin Martinez, with the service. Two points away from a Moses Lake win. Martinez approaches the serve. Oh, that's a good serve for that freshman. Cross court kill attempt by, oh, it was Sherman with a kill attempt. And we're going to get a point to Eastmont. Has got two hits whistled against Moses Lake. So Martinez out. Back in comes Stewart. And Sammy Beck will come in for Eastmont to replace Heimbegner. And boy, did they need her to come through with some serves right now, trailing it 23-17. Sammy. Cross court, beautiful serve. Up front, the set for Pew. Back line, Eastmont there with Sherman. Now they get it back across to his back, and that goes right into almost the face of Trinneman. I wouldn't blame Trinneman for having a little trepidation right now. That ball came firing across. And Beck, the one who had the kill, is on the serve. Back corner, oh, close, close, but not quite. Out. Moses Lake, a point away. Back in comes Voss. Backing up to serve as Jaslyn Torres. The libero with the service, cross court, Wolfsborn. Up front it comes, the kill attempt at the net by Bennett. It's going to stay alive for Eastbond on the point for the Wildcats. <laughs> Kellum and Stewart sprawling to the floor here for the Mavericks. And oh, Tori Wolfsborn is hurt. She has a rib. Something has happened to Tori Wolfsborn. I don't know if she heard it on the swing or if she heard it when she fell down. But boy, she is having a really hard time right now. And the injury timeout gives Eastmont a break. And Tori Wolfsborn, who's been a key cog for Eastmont here tonight, is uh, in a lot of pain right now. Goodness. 24-19 is our score. And I honestly, folks, didn't see what happened there. I don't know if she hit the floor or if she just maybe pulled something when she reached up to uh, strike the ball. But she is definitely in a lot of pain in her right rib cage, it looks like. So an unfortunate turn here for Eastmont. As the Wildcats were trying to stay alive here in the third game. So they'll have to do it. It appears without Tori Wolfsborn. As they trail it 24 to 19. Our broadcast here tonight on the NCW Live Channel brought to you in part by Sangster Motors. Family owned and operated home of the all new electric Hummer pickup and SUV. That's right, a pickup and SUV. Find out more at Sangster Motors. So Eastmont, no, Wolfsborn's going to come back out here. Oh my. She's going to tough it out. Oh, no, they're going to have her come out on the floor for the substitution. Okay, I thought, oh, my gosh. They, I guess they do have to do that legally here. So Kyra Davis will come in to replace her, and the service will be for Emma Bennett. So the Wildcats going to carry on on the floor without Tori, and the service back line it comes. Moses Lake is there. Here's a set up front, and Kellum got the block at the net. Or they're going to say it's... Hit the antenna. Point to Eastmont. Goodness. The official on the floor right there, Tina Mitchell with the call. Cut the lead to four. Service across. Kellum up front it comes to Trittleman. Kellum with the kill. Eastmont with a scramble. They get it across. Back line to Torres. Up front to Turtleman. Here comes to Kellum again. She'll shove it to the back line. And a sprawl for Sammy Beck. And that'll be a point for Moses Lake. And the Mavericks will win this one 25-20. Not for a lack of effort for Eastmont. That is for sure. So it's two games to one. We'll come back with game four coming up next here on the NCW Live Channel.
Hi folks, welcome to Save Mart. How can we help you today? Uh, we're looking for a recliner. Okay, right this way. Go ahead and move this chair on the other side. Great, I want that one. I would like that one. That's a great choice. And I want this one as well. Okay. And I definitely want this one. Ooh. You find it at Save Mart. Full service at a low, low are you dealing with a pest or weed issue and you just don't know what to do? We use the best pest control methods approved for areas with kids and pets. Whether it's rats, mice, ants, or spiders, or something else altogether. We provide the coaching and solutions you're looking for. And you can know that your dollars are supporting a local, family-owned and operated business. Allow us to help you get back to living healthy and pest-free. Harvest Valley Pest Control. You're watching Big Nine Volleyball tonight here on the NCW Live channel. Eric Grandstrom with you as we come to you live from Eastmont High School. Game one went to the Wildcats, 25-23. Second and third went the way of Moses Lake, winning the second 25-19 and just capturing the third 25-20. As we head to the fourth, Moses Lake will have the service. Our broadcast tonight brought to you in part by Save Mart. Shop smart, shop local, providing outstanding value and service since 1962. Also by Together for Youth. We'd like to encourage you to dispose of unused and expired prescriptions to protect youth and the environment. Find a kiosk near you by visiting medproject.org. That's medproject.org. And by the way, you get a chance to uh, stop by any of the businesses that you see sponsoring sports here on the NCW Life Channel. Say, hey, you know, I was, I was watching that. I was watching it on my cell phone. I was watching it on TV. And uh, thank you. Thank you for sponsoring that. that it, because we, we can't do this if they don't sponsor because they pay for the broadcast. So thanks to Abby's and Biosports, Confluence, Dick's Heating and Air Conditioning, Global Car Care, Highlander Golf Course and Grill, Harvest Valley Pest Control, Les Schwab, Sangster Motors, Save Mart, Together for Youth, and TC Slingers. They make this happen. So here we go, everybody all ready and set. And unfortunately, Eastmont gonna have to do the services without Tori Wolsborn. It went down with an injury here. Be sure and hang around after the contest here tonight. We'll have a post-game show, talk with the winning coach and a player of their choice. And Eastmont just getting out of the huddle. And the whistle sounded and Wildcats weren't ready, but the service came. And they scramble enough to get it going here and get it back across, times two. Torres up front. Pew missed the jump and a point to Eastmont. So Wildcats second game in a row. They will score the first point. Can they capitalize, however? Service will be for Rachel Hamilton for Eastmont. Here we go. Let's go. Hamilton back line, service too deep. I don't know. I didn't hear communication for Moses Lake. It was basically up to. Jaslyn Torres, ball came her way. She goes, eh, it looks deep. Cardin Martinez with the service here for the Mavericks, tied up at one. Beck, reverse sets down the line, out on the kill attempt by Seltz for Eastmont. So our first lead change, already had a tie in this one. We are in the fourth game of the night. Best of five. Two games to one lead for Moses Lake. Seltz goes cross court. Torres is there. Up front it goes to Trinovan. Here's a little push across the net. Eastmont is there, but they got to get it back across. And they do. Down to a knee goes Pew. Up front it comes. Eastmont with a kill attempt by Bennett. And it's in. Second tie of this one. Eastmont with her backs up against the wall. Got to have this game. In for the Wildcats comes Tamron Heimbigner. And with the uh, injury for Tori Wolsborn, Eastmont's going to have to kind of make sure they're keeping track of where they are on the floor. Seltz will have the serve. I think this is her first serve of the night. Serve on the way. Boy, that is a rocket serve. Skips off the ceiling and will <laughs> drop down for an ace. For Jasmine Seltz. How about that? Second lead change already in this one. 
3-2 Eastmont. Seltz again on the service. Back line it goes. There is Kellum. Up front it comes. Here's a little touch. And getting it across was Andrews. Now a carom off of the block attempt at the net. Kellum, too deep. It's out. Kellum is saying that it hit a defender at the net, but the officials don't agree. So it's a point to Eastmont. Again, Seltz continuing on the service for the Wildcats. Down the line it goes. Kellum is there. Up front it comes to Trinneman, then back to Kellum. And there to save it is Seltz for Eastmont. And the back line. Oh, they got it in. Wow. And I think give credit to Bennett on the kill for Eastmont that time around. All smiles on the Eastmont side of the net right now as they lead it 5-2. It's their largest lead they've had in a long time. Seltz on the service. Back line it goes. Torres is there, but it will carry him off of her arms and go out of bounds. And a timeout going to be taken quickly here for Coach Crystal Trammell. And the Mavericks will take a 30-second break on our broadcast as well. 6-2 early lead here in the fourth for Eastbond, where you're watching Big Nine Volleyball on the NCW Live Channel. Thanks to Les Schwab tires, I'm a confident vaccine driver, but mine's a little stressed about spending. Remember, deep breaths and watch your speed. Even though we're watching our wallets, Les Schwab is still watching out for our safety. So it's right here. Don't stress, just save up to $250 on select tires with financing at our Les Schwab Fall Tire Sale. Les Schwab Tires, doing the right thing since 1952. 6-2 the score, Eastmont by four as great job of serving right now for the Wildcats by Jasmine Seltz. Here goes the next serve. Cross court, back line, there is Stewart. Now Kellum, there is Seltz. Up front on the kill attempt is Cameron Heimbegner. Pugh gets it back across for Moses Lake. Another set, this time reversing it and the ball Trapped up top, brought back to Eastmont side, and then Seltz couldn't get the angle on it. So tough when Moses Lake has the jumping ability and the height up front. They just, I mean, it's like putting the ceiling over the top of the net. You just can't get it back over there. Heimbigner does a good job of uh, returning this one, but then on the kill attempt goes right into the net. And it's a 6-4 differential. Eastmont leading Moses Lake 2-0 with eight minutes left in Moses Lake tonight. We're talking uh, girls soccer. Nice kill here at the net for Eastmont. And Emma Bennett on the kill. Substitution here as Tamira Scott will come in. Bennett on the serve. Eastmont by three. Back line it goes. There is Stewart for Moses Lake. Kellum gets it across. Now a little touch up top. Kellum sprawling down. They keep it alive, does the Mavericks. They get it back over. Heimbigner is there. Now the kill attempt by Sherman. Torres with the return. Moses Lake counters. Boy, what another great volley here tonight. This one goes off of Torres. May have been too deep. But Torres had to try for it, and it's a point to Eastmont. They lead it 8-4 here in the fourth game tonight. Service again continues for Emma Bennett. Cross to Kellum. Up front it goes to Trillman. Block at the net by Eastmont. Sprawling attempt by Moses Lake. They can't get it across. And a point, another one for Eastmont. Nine for the score. Six minutes left. Goals here for Eastmont in this one. Kylie Weems and Julia Martinez. It's now 3-0. Martinez with two goals in a row here for the Wildcats in Moses Lake. So that's big nine soccer happening in Moses Lake tonight. Meanwhile, Eastmont taking a lead here in game four of this one when they got to have it. 10-4 the score. And that's a good buddy. Bennett on the service to Kellum. Scramble. Torres got it across. Nice job for Eastmont by 
Tyra Davis. And this one's out on the kill attempt up front. I think that was Scott on the kill. A little bit too wide. 10-5 to score. Peyton Andrews on the service here for Moses Lake. Getting some playing time here in the fourth game. Heimbigner is there. She'll get it back. Gets it back across. Back line it comes. They'll set it up for Trillman. And a kill. And this one is out. Point to Eastmont. Hernandez will check back in and replace Andrews for Moses Lake. Out comes Mackenzie Sherman for Eastmont. And Lydia Riggs back in for the Wildcats. They lead it by six. Torres able to get it. Oh, nice idea for Moses Lake, and that will benefit the Mavericks here on a touch at the net by Trenman. Senior comes through again here for Moses Lake. Hoffines will come in to serve here and replace Kaylee, uh, Kaylee Kellum in an 11-6 contest. Boy, that's a tough serve. And Riggs, excuse me, Davis able to get a piece of it, but nobody could help her out after that. So that'll go down basically as an ace. Hoffines again on the serve. Too deep. Good communication on the back line there for Eastmont by uh, Michael Staines and Tamron Heimbigner. Heimbigner comes out and Sammy Beck will come in. 12-7 the score and Beck on the serve. Jump serve cross court. Nice job by Hoffines just to get a piece of that. And now at the net is Voss. Up front it comes, here's the kill. Oh, missed timing the hit was Tamira Scott. Seltz will come in and replace Kyra Davis. Meanwhile, the service will go to Moses Lake and it will be Kylie Voss. Moss's serve, back line to Beck. Up front it comes for the set there by Lydia Riggs and then the kill at the nets is blocked and a point to Moses Lake. 12-9. Again, the service for Voss. Back line to Beck and a miss hit there. Can Eastmont get it back over? Uh, no. They got it back over, but it was wide and out of bounds. 12-10 <laughs> the score. They're in stoppage time in Moses Lake now, and the Mavericks have scored. It's now a 3-1 contest late, late at Lions Field. Nice job in the back line there for Staines. And this was hit by Sammy Beck is too deep, and it's a 12-11 contest suddenly. Eastmont looked like they had this one in control, but now Moses Lake coming back. Beck up front. The kill attempt will fall in for Jasmine Seltz. Nice block attempt up front by Pugh for Moses Lake, but... It falls in on their side of that. 13-11 our score. We're in the fourth. If we go to a fifth, by the way, they played a 15, first to 15. Of course, you got to win by two. This one's out on the serve by Michael Staines. So an unforced error will be our first of this particular game. Don't forget we have a Big Nine football coming up Friday, provided the smoke allows us to do so as Wenatchee will host Davis for homecoming. Here's a kill attempt by Eastmont. And Moses Lake, beautiful, beautiful little shovel across the net by CC Tournament. She's done that a few times here tonight, and now Tournament will have the service. Tied at 13. That is our third tie, and it's been since early going. Beck, up front it comes, the set, the kill, cross court, out. Oh, they're going to say it's in. They're going to say it's in, so it's an Eastmont point. The lines person on the back row said it was out, but the officials that count say it was in, so it's in. Service here for Rachel Hamilton for Eastmont. Back line, Torres is there. Up front it comes to Trudeman. Now a little touch by Andrews, got it across. Kill attempt, and in on the kill by Bennett. Emma's kind of been off tonight, but this one she's able to get in there. And the point for Eastmont. Wildcats up by two. 
here in the fourth game. Hamilton, the 5'6 senior. Oh boy, that was turned out to be a pretty good serve. Hoffline's got a piece of it to now Eastmont with the set. Here's the kill, block at the nets, and that is a great job by Peyton Andrews. The 5'9 junior got up high, made the block, and a point for Moses Lake. Carden Martinez will come in to serve. So too will come in Kaylee Kellum for the Mavericks. Trailing it by one. Service across. Seltz gets down. Little touch here. They're going to say a point for Moses Lake as hitting down on it. Apparently was Emma Bennett. And we're tied. Fourth time. Cross it comes. Staines is there, reverse to Seltz. Her kill goes right into the net. Kellum and Pugh didn't even have to block that one. And our third lead change gives Moses Lake an advantage 16-15. Again, the freshman on the service. Martinez, Beck can't handle it. Ace for the freshman. Cardin Martinez. Story of the night unfolding here for Moses Lake. Freshman again on the service. Back line will go and too far back. Nice communication by Eastmont there, recognizing that the ball was too deep. Martinez replaced here by Kenneth Stewart. Beck replaced by Heimbigner for Eastmont. And back on the serve will be Jasmine Seltz. Too deep. Good communication by Moses Lake. Substitution here for the Wildcats. Seltz will come out and Kyra Davis will come in. Service will be to the Mavericks and it will be Jaslyn Torres. Torres on the serve. She'll go middle with it. There is Eastmont and uh, nobody home on the second hit on Moses Lake's side of the net. So. Kill and a point for Eastbawn. Substitution streaking into the game comes to Myra Scott. Service for Bennett. Got it across. Back line it comes. The set up front by Tenneman and a kill attempt. Too long from Kylie Voss. Tied up at 18. Fifth tie of this fourth game. Bennett, the 5'8 senior on the service. Back line, it comes to Kellum. Up front, it goes back to Kellum on a little touch. Eastmont keeps it alive. The setup, Heimbigner, the kill. Back line to Moses Lake. Kellum again with a kill. It's in. And a point. That was close. Oh, <laughs> so close. Back in comes Mike Michael Staines for Eastmont. Trying to get a little defensive help. Meanwhile, the service for Peyton Andrews, the 5'9 junior. Right hand from the right side, almost towed the line too close. Davis is there. Now the setup and the kill attempt is in. Mackenzie Sherman, she's come through with a few key hits here tonight for Eastmont. She'll check out as Lydia Riggs comes back in for the Wildcats as we're tied at 19 again. Six ties and four lead changes in this one. Service, cross court. Moses Lake, they get it across. Eastmont backing up. Swipe by Scott. Up front it comes. Here's a kill attempt by Voss. Eastmont with a counter. And a beautiful kill that time. Getting up was... <laughs> Heimbigner. She even surprises to herself on that one. Fifth lead change. Eastmont trying to stay alive and force a fifth and deciding game. Here we go. Kellum down the line. Oh, beautiful hit there. Yet another tie. Seven ties in this one. Substitution as Reagan Hoffines will come in and try to finish it up, possibly for Moses Lake. Hoffines right hand on the left side. Got it across. Staines is there. And no! <laughs> Eastmont just couldn't quite get the footwork figured out. Lydia Riggs with the set, but it went to nobody, so a point for Moses Lake. 
Hoff finds again on the service. Softer this time, got it across. Here's the set for Eastmont. Up front it comes, and a miss hit on that one for the Wildcats as it, Rachel Hamilton just didn't get the trajectory right, and it's two points in a row here for the Mavericks. Hoff finds to Staines. Up front on the set, reverse. Heimbigner crosses it over. And a little touch at the net by Voss. Here's a kill. Keep it alive. Eastmont got it back over. Now it comes back over on Eastmont's side, and a kill is good. Oh, my. Just went back and forth and back and forth, and that time it falls in for Hamilton. 22-21. Seltz will come back in. So, too, will Sammy Beck, and Beck will probably have the service here. Trying to keep the match alive for Eastmont. Trailing it by one. Trying to get their second win of the Big Nine season, but they got a lot of work to do. Beck on the service. Backline jumping on the return is Hernandez. They swipe it back across to Voss. Up front it comes. Here's the kill attempt by Scott, and it's a point to Eastmont. Tie it up again. Eight ties. Five lead changes. Can the Wildcats get the final three points of this one and send us to a fifth and deciding game? Beck on the serve. Back line it goes. It's a kind of a miss hit there. And Moses Lake gets it back across, but they're feeling the pressure right now. And here's a beautiful block at the line by Kylie Voss. Oh, my. And Voss, who just had the kill, will have, or block basically, will have the service. Need two more. Oh, beautiful block by Pew at the line. Here's the set. Seltz too deep. One point away for Moses Lake to sweep the season series from Eastmont. We're first going to get a timeout taken by Coach Corinne Davis. We will keep it right here as we get ready to possibly put a plug in the jug on this one. Again, Kirk Einsbar and Tina Mitchell are officials here tonight. Coming into the contest tonight, West Valley atop the Big Nine at 6-0, when actually second at 6-1. They've got one more match between the two of them together this season. That should be interesting. Davis and Moses Lake came in tonight tied for third, but Moses Lake has the head-to-head -head advantage with Davis. They both are 4-3 and three coming into tonight. Sunnyside at 2-5, and five, Eastmont 1-6, and, and Eisenhower 1-7. They will have a play-in for the Big Nine District Tournament the Tuesday after the regular season is over. That's typically the schedule anyway. Moses Lake trying to climb into a third place spot all by themselves here in the Big Nine with a win here tonight on the road. Service after the timeout by the Wildcats. He's bought on the scramble again. They get it back across. Back line, it comes to Voss. Now getting it over is Hoffines. Up front it comes. Here's the set and the kill and falls in. Eastmont stays alive. Tamira Scott, right place, right time. She'll come out. In for Eastmont comes Emma Bennett, and the service will be to Michael Staines. In a one-point contest, got to win by two. Staines on the serve. Back line it goes out. Game match, Moses Lake. As they win it. Three to one here tonight over Eastmont. We'll take a break, come back, post game coming up. We'll talk with the head coach of Moses Lake, Crystal Trammell, and the player of her choice. That's coming up next year on the NCW Life Channel. You've got a lot to do today. While you're out and about, Remember to dispose of your unused medications safely and anonymously. It's a simple act that makes your home a safer place. Next time you're at the pharmacy, just place them in the drop box. To find a location, visit medproject.org. Hi, my car's making a funny noise. 
Not a problem. We'll take care of you. Global Car Care's technicians are ASE master techs and well-versed in the more refined methods of vehicular diagnostics. Number three piston and rings have a slight loss of compression, down to 108 pounds. Your transmission is slipping. You're going to need a service. Looks like you're all set. These guys? They're good. Oh, and your spare is flat. Global Car Care, Wenatchee's top shop. We were in Roseburg in the early 80s. Our oldest son, Dan, was a defensive back, a starter on that team. They set, in fact, became Oregon State champions, setting the first undefeated 14-0 season in Oregon's history. And our kids still talk about that. I go back now, too, and I think about all those great days and great times. The neat thing is that we can go back in today and still enjoy the same quality food that we enjoyed 50 years ago. That's legendary. When your heating or cooling system is giving you trouble, call the Diagnostic Doctor from Dix Heating and Air Conditioning. Here's the culprit right here. All joking aside, when you call Dix, you're calling 35 years of experience at customer service right here in the Wenatchee Valley. Dix strongly believes in repairing before replacing and they service all major brands of HVAC units. Hi folks, welcome to Save Mart. How can we help you today? Uh, we're looking for a recliner. Okay, right this way. Go ahead and move this chair on the other side. Great, I want that one. I would like that one. That's a great choice. And I want this one as well. Okay. And I definitely want this one. Ooh. You find it at Save Mart. Full service at a low, low price. When the people you serve are your friends and family, you see the world a bit differently. You understand that your survival depends on the health and strength of your relationships. Your word is your reputation and that doing the right thing is the only way of life that matters. At Confluence Health, we remain humble. Trust is a gift that is earned, a privilege, an honor. And we remain grateful for the trust you place in our hands. Welcome back here on the post game show on the NCW Life Channel, where the Moses Lake Mavericks knock off the Eastmont Wildcats on the road here tonight. Three games to one, talking with uh, Jaslyn Torres, who is a senior for Moses Lake. And that was quite the game tonight, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. We came out rocky, but then we really pulled it together at the end. So, talk about what your coach tells you guys as you're going from point to point and from game to game after you drop that first one. What was the focus for you guys? Um, she said to be intentional with everything we do, have all the energy that we have, and just to have, play our game. I saw a lot of smiles out there, even though you guys weren't necessarily getting the points to fall your way. How do you do that? Um, we just know we got the next one. We cheer each other up. We don't want to get down. Once we get down, it's not OK. <laughs> now, there's a bunch of youngsters on your team. How's that feel as a senior to be able to have some of these younger players come through for you? Um, I'm glad knowing that next year there will be there will be a tough team. And it's really fun getting to know these girls and play with them all season. Can't wait to see what, how they do next year. What does it mean for you guys to get the win on the road here, which is always tough to do in the Big Nine, but now you climb into third place all by yourself? Yeah, it's really fun. We really push hard for that. What's it going to take for you guys to get into that postseason but make a difference, do you think? Uh, we just got to work really hard practice. We got to push every day um, and be intentional like our coach tells us to be. Well, you go by Jazz, right? Yeah. Okay, well, Jazz was feeling the music here tonight. Congratulations <laughs> on the win. All right, thank you. All right, Jazz Torres joining us here on the postgame show. We'll come back and talk to her coach as the uh, Moses Lake Mavericks knock off Eastmont here tonight, three games to one. We're back with more right after this. You don't have to be a member to enjoy the view and dine-in style at Highlander Bar and Grill, located in East Wenatchee. Highlander Golf Course has added two state-of-the-art full-swing simulators. Food and drink service is available from our full-service bar and grill, offering breakfast, lunch, and dinner seven days a week. Indoor and outdoor seating available. Paul Shalane, our on-site coordinator, to schedule your special event. I'm Brian Thorpe, and I'm proud to say that Global Car Care is growing. We always do the right thing, and because of that, we're busy, and it's time to hire an experienced automotive technician. We spend as much time with our coworkers as we do our own family, 
I want them to understand they're not a number here. They're a person with a family, and I want them to be part of this family too. Do you want an owner that understands and respects what you do every day? I'm that guy. Our compensation is the best in the area. I want you to have your career with us. Welcome back here on the post game show on the NCW Life Channel where the Moses Lake Mavericks come from behind and take three out of four games here tonight against Eastmont. Coach Trammell, I mean, you get a big win on the road here tonight. Tell me what you told the girls after you lost that first one, 25-23. That we needed to be that team, that team that others wanted to be. We needed to rise to the occasion and play our game. So when we do that, it's beautiful. But then when we get in our funk or our valley, um, like we did several times, seven or eight points that were unearned. We have to dig ourselves out. So the girls, they dug. That was well earned. Very proud of them. Well, when I went up to you after the game and I said, hey, you have a player of your choice to bring over. I'll tell you, the person that you brought, Jazz, she played really well for you guys tonight and really seemed to come up with the big hits, the big returns when you needed them most. It's Jazz. We call her Jazz Hands. And uh, like I said, I've had her since she was 10 years old. And to see her now as a senior, uh, it's, it's humbling because she's the heart of the team. Everyone has their role and their part, but she's a quiet leader. And I think that they follow. And she leads by example. She's great. A couple of spark plugs for you tonight, I thought, was Kaylee Kellum. Yeah. Fantastic. And then also the freshman. How about Cardin Martinez? She came through with several serves for you tonight. She did. Yeah, Kaylee uh, is fantastic. When she's on, she's on. And so we've been really working on making sure her approach is fluid to get that four step and go. Um, and then also Cece Trinneman uh, did a yeah. beautiful yeah. job setting. And uh, yeah, Cardin stepped in there. I'm like, can you do this? She's like, uh huh, I can do this. <laughs> and she had confidence to do it, but we yeah. do a lot of that in, in practice. Practice. A lot of situational um, opportunities for her to have have a try. So. Well, practice didn't make it perfect, but they made it a big win here tonight. Congratulations, Thank Coach. You. Appreciate it. You Thank bet. you. Uh, there is Coach uh, Crystal Trammell joining us here on the postgame show. We have just enough time to wrap it up before we get to the 9 o'clock hour. Coming up next here on the NCW Life Channel. The newest generation of GMC Sierra pickups offer the most advanced technology, the strongest selection of powertrain, and everything else you need to work hard, play hard, and explore the boundaries of the Wenatchee Valley and beyond. Take a look at the latest, most luxurious and durable trucks on the market. You will see why GMC is not your grandfather's pickup. You want to bet, kid? I believe we've been coming to Abby's for 56 years, wasn't it? Yes, yeah. 56 years. Remembering all the events as a family and a community that we spent at Abby's. E excellent and delicious food at an affordable price. We're delighted that we live close enough to be able to be a frequent customer. And we are. And we are. <laughs> In fact, we've got orders to bring home a, a giant pizza when we leave okay. here tonight. <laughs> One more time around here at Eastmont High School where the Moses Lake Mavericks come on the road and win a big nine volleyball match here tonight. Three games to one. Congratulations to the Mavericks. And for Eastmont, there's a lot of positives to take out of tonight as they still work on their second win, trying to get that second win in big nine play. Thanks to everybody who was involved in our broadcast here tonight. Back at the studios, Malcolm Whitehall and Matthew Moore. And here on site, we had Josiah Davison, our line producer, and running cameras tonight, Matthew Ortiz, and, of course, my much better half, Marion Granstrom. That's going to do it for volleyball here tonight at Eastmont High School where the Mavericks knock off the Wildcats three games to one. Have a good night, everybody. Now hand off up the middle again. Peterson's got some room up the middle into the end zone. Touchdown, Wildcats. This has been a special presentation of NCW Life Channel Sports. Today's broadcast has been brought to you by Abby's Pizza, Dick's Heating and Air Conditioning, Global Car Care, Harvest Valley Pest Control, Highlander Golf Course and Grill, Les Schwab Tires, and Sangster Motors. Be sure to tune in for more local sports right here on the NCW Life Channel. We now return you to normal programming already in progress. win the district championship.